the intruder. Aha, so you do have a walkie-talkie. So then what's the deal with your 1970s phone? Well, surprise, surprise! Well, look who's back in town. No, no, come on, not the crazy bitch. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Remember, she's a witch and dangerous. Front man speaking. Give me a minute. I caught an intruder in my chambers with my one weird phone trick, so I'm going to check the premises. But if somebody calls me in my walkie-talkie in the file room, I'll assume the room is clear and stop searching. Okay. And hold some of my calls. Yeah. Make sure to call this landline for any important shit instead of my walkie-talkie. Are you in here right now? Why is he announcing all this out loud instead of immediately calling for backup so a bunch of goons with MP5 submachine guns can clear the room instead of doing it yourself? The front man might be leaning in too much. What's a cop doing here without a partner? How do you know he isn't in there with a partner? Apparently none of your security cameras have any footage of him. You've only got a single 40 watt light bulb down there. Are you reading files in the dark, or is it just more convenient for Jason Bourne to be able to crouch in the darkness? We found a body, the northern coast of the island. Well, I'm gonna leave now, even though it would have only taken another five seconds to clear the basement, but whatever. I'm sure no one's crouching in the dark behind those boxes over there. That was close. I know, right? <sighs> Gee, I think perhaps somebody ought to teach you some manners, sir. Because on a personal level, I consider you a disgusting pig. What I don't get is, why doesn't he just walk over there and strangle her if he hates her so much? It's already been established that you're allowed to take out other players in between games. This is among some of the saddest potato eating I've ever seen. Oh, look at the magic scanner work with all that beeping. I thought it worked by scanning a person's neck or their mask or the back of their hoodies. Wait, it works on faces too? I guess it should verify that the body is one of the workers and not the detective, right? Right? I'm really starting to lose confidence in these scanners. We found this police ID on him. Wait, why does this detective badge look different from the other detectives? This one actually looks legit. Let's just stop all this. I can't keep doing this. Half of us, that's all we need to end this right now. You think your wife will stop being dead if we all go now? And she'll forgive you for letting Man, her get Man, Sangwoo's really you coming into his own. This is the type of inspiring leadership I expect well, from an SNU business valedictorian. Look at these jerk-offs. What's the deal with all this security? These VIP masks look worse than the worker masks. Not only can they not see dick out of them, they also look to be about 15 pounds. Well, that's why we came all this way. Trust me, the screens we have at home are plenty big, but nothing beats seeing it with your own eyes. Then why did you wait until the fifth game to come in person? Actually, I think Red Light, Green Light, or Talk of War would be the most exciting, but instead you wait until now and you don't even know what the next games are? Where do they hire all these painted models from? It seems like you want to keep the number of employees at an absolute minimum for your super secret murder games. And it seems like some of them could be easily replaced by an Ikea coffee table. Perhaps a flurn. I wonder if they all get paid the same because some of them are working harder than the others. Or is it based on seniority? The veterans can just sit or lie down or stand around fanning or look towards the ceiling with their eyes closed and boobs resting on the couch, while the new recruits have coffee table duty with some fat f**k's disgusting feet on them. Seriously? I find it hard to believe the host would miss a night like tonight. Obviously I need to talk about the horrible writing and acting here. These VIPs are absolute dog sh**. The Korean actors all seem legit, but where the f do they find these assholes? My theory is that a Korean casting director just went to some expat bars in Seoul to find some generic white dudes. They went into the audition and read their lines in English and the Korean director and casting directors were like, Yep, this one sounds like he speaks English. You're hired. And what's the deal with this god-awful dialogue? Sounds like the director was just like, Hey, you whiteies, just ad-lib some lines in English and whatever you come up with, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's listen to some of this masterclass writing and acting. Oh, it's uh, such a beautiful number! 69! <laughs> oh, you dirty dog. 
Now is your chance to catch up. The serious betting starts in this round. I'm doubling my stakes in this round. Just tell us about the next game. How long are you gonna string us along like this? He's in a bad mood because of 69. Better tell him quickly. Ooh, this is exciting. Gentlemen, this may be the deciding moment. Piece of <laughs> shit! Oh, it's really not your day, is it? Hey, first 69 and now 96. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't even know how to describe this dialogue. It's like the opposite of Tarantino. Your shift's over. Why don't you just kill him like everyone else you meet in there since that seems to be standard operating procedure for a Korean PD. Yeah, there's no way in hell you're going to serve drinks in a tray and secretly record video through your sleeve. Is it velcroed in from the inside or something? And what's up with these masks? I think during a production meeting, someone was like, Oh crap, we've got to make a new design for the server mass. Come up with something quick. Are you sure about that? You don't even this is a random observation that only people who've spent time in Asia can appreciate. But have you ever seen an American beckon someone over with this palm down, come hither gesture? No, because that's the way that they call someone over or hail a taxi in Asian countries like Korea and China. I bet the Korean director coached the actor to call Jun Ho over like he himself would, Korean style. Hey, you! In fact, when he calls Jun Ho over later on, we see him reverting to his natural hand motion. Gentlemen, let me introduce the next game. What's that thing? Looks like a bridge of some sort. I like the looks of it. Just a reminder that this show was nominated for a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Drama Series. Hey, what is that thing? Some kind of a bridge of some sort. I wonder if it's a scale or just a smaller model. I don't know, but I like the looks of it. It was on the sixth day that God created the first man on Earth. Decision! Have you made your decision for Christ? Is this really the best process for choosing? Just a free-for-all? What if two people want the same number? Another fight to the death? Why not choose by the order of their numbers? Who are you bidding on this time? 96. What's your reason? Well, if I can't do 69, I'll try 96. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. How do you know this guy? I didn't break my phone. You brought him. Me, no. <laughs> oh, jeez, you killed me. Ha 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 good luck with that. Oh jeez, you kill me. Can you believe somebody hired us as actors? Man, these guys make porn actors look like they're doing Shakespeare in the park. Now, the game will begin. Oh wow, it's bigger! Yeah. Oh wow, it's bigger! I thought that you were gonna miniaturize them like Ant-Man. So we're supposed to believe that these morons are the smartest and richest people on the planet? Is this a center for ants? Derek, it's just a. I don't want to hear your excuses. The center has to be at least three times bigger than this. He's absolutely right. But this game is glass stepping stones. The tempered glass stepping stones are strong enough to hold the weight of two people. So I guess all the players weigh exactly the same. That means the numbers on us are the order in which you will cross the bridge. I changed my mind! Whoa, how did you get those tiny binoculars to get the same zoom as the Hubble telescope? Scumbag. And why exactly are you calling him a scumbag? Sit down. Here. We know you still believe in the big fat creeper. Take your step now, or I'll push your ass. Oh, go. Oh, go. Okay, oh, go. Then please, try to choose carefully, huh? Oh, 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 yes, that's it. Keep doing that one after the other. Oh, what a shame. What pretty eyes you have. See the creeper over there? I'm looking at 15. 
2 to the power of 15. 1 in 32,768. Well, basically you're fucked, aren't you? Nice try, though. Excuse me, ma'am. You happen to remember what he chose next? The left one, I think. You... are you sure? Not exactly a strong vote of confidence. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good enough for me. Ah! So you went right. All right, sorry, my bad. Our Father who art in heaven, you're, you're praying right now? As it is in heaven. Seriously? Get off your knees, Louie! It's our time to face the Lord. Bless me today. <laughs> see you in hell, powers. Not if I see you first, tip. Man, this guy really likes to take his time. Wouldn't you be right behind the next person, or at least paying attention? Might know which one of these is the stronger glass. It's in the color. <gasps> Maybe. Maybe not. Anyone want to get across? Well, you better go first then. Ah, this is bullshit. Let's pop this motherfucker right now. You're all mine. Take me somewhere where we can be alone. You're living at the most exciting moment. I'm going off for a different kind of song. Oh, you're real 69, huh? <laughs> Never do that again. But the rule is we go in order. <laughs> We're in hell here. There's no rules in hell. I guess there are no rules anymore about what a person can do to another person. If you can satisfy me in five minutes, I'll change your life. That is a real creeper. Ah! Are you... Are you satisfied, Glenn? I'm satisfied. You don't think that I'd be able to do something quite as cowardly as waiting here till I die? What are you doing? You're such an idiot. Did you believe I'd really die so you could go on? Now this dude weighs twice as much as her. I don't think she'd be able to pull him down. At the very least, I think he'd be able to break her grip or headbutt or punch her. Man, this guy's the weakest mob boss ever. And how did she know that one was the untempered glass instead of the one able to hold two people? Wow, what a shocker, right? Eh? I can't believe they're dead. I didn't see that coming! You didn't see that coming? Hold on, wait one second. I can tell the panel's apart. I used to make glass for over 30 years. How convenient would that be for you? The VIP has collapsed. Is he alive? He's fine. He collapsed. You didn't mention that he's on the floor naked. And Junho decides to keep this guy alive when he's whacking people left and right. I can't tell which it is. I'll pick, okay? okay. Oh man, that was cold. Did what you had to do. Total dick move. Ah, more fair play. After they successfully complete the challenge, you send exploding glass their way. First of all, how exactly did the glass explode? I didn't see any IEDs attached to them. I didn't realize strong tempered glass could be exploded so easily. Second, that's a hell of a lot of glass from just 16 small glass panels. One of the dive pads is gone. I suspect the intruder took it. Hey, for something this important, why didn't you call my landline instead? Yeah, this looks like an easy and safe escape method for your billionaire VIPs. Cave diving in the dark and then swimming a mile to another island. It's gonna be a piece of cake, Bryn. 